So everyone wakes up? Yep. Yep. Uh, uh, gentlemen and lady. Men ladies. What's up? Uh, I saw I saw a unicorn last night. She just uh, here? appeared in front, well, behind me, and then she disappeared. You saw another unicorn? Yes. It was very odd, though, because she, she seemed like she came from the distant past. As in, she doesn't seem like a unicorn would be around nowadays. First, the dark thingy the night before, and then now, apparently, ancient, ancient unicorn lady. Yes. The things are going strangely. Either we're on, either we took something hallucinogenic, those bandits must have slipped something, or something is happening. And I, I have a dark suspicion that it might have been that room that we entered. Guys? That... Ugh, that old room? Wait, wait, wait. Didn't you say you felt something? I asked. Yeah. Well, that was mainly directed toward EO since Colorado was really... That was the only one that Colorado actually noticed, but... Well, EO also kind of, like, felt it. Well, yeah, EO was, like, visibly shaken up, though. Yeah. Yes. It's pretty much EO, yeah. Yeah, it was a weird feeling. non What did you say? He said it was a weird feeling. Oh, very good. It was a weird feeling. It was a weird feeling. Did you cast it as a weird feeling, Snow? No, I, I can't hear you right now. I went out and went back in in the hopes I could hear him. See something, you? You can't hear me? Oh, no, now I can. I didn't hear oh. those things earlier. No, all I said was that it, was a, it really was a weird feeling. Yeah. I didn't know how to describe it. Okay. But I did find this, and I show them uh, the divination card thing that I took. All right. I immediately take a look at it. Yeah. Oh. What? <laughs> when did... What, are we famous now that we got trading cards? No, you idiot. This, this, is, this is a... Can I, can I, like, roll to see if I know if it's a divination card, or do we just know... Uh, that would be an arcana check. I um, toss the card straight at Ophelia. I'm going to roll <laughs> like for Benson. Before her face. <laughs> I'm going to roll for Benson real quick. And in real time, if he'll just basically regurgitate what he, heard, what he found earlier. Yeah, that's good enough. He basically regurgitate what he what was said earlier. About anyway, I'm a, I take the card next door right at Ophelia. I mean, like granted, makes a uh, slams slams flat on her face. I mean, granted the char- granted the caricatures on the I throw wide <laughs> <laughs> off the side. Throwing cards is hard. Uh, granted, the caricatures on there are not perfect, not perfect similes, but you know the distinguishing features are there. A big yellow puffball with a hat. Pretty much. <laughs> Um, I'm just a white see. mom. <laughs> <laughs> it's more stylized. Like, what's a good description? Almost like, like stained glass. Like strong, strong, uh, strong lines, sharp angles. Probably some, probably something that's. Yeah, I think it's the best way to put oh, it. Oh wait, I, 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 I get, yeah, I get the style you're trying, you're trying to describe. You're trying to describe cubism. I suppose that's a good way of looking at it. Pablo Picasso style. Yes, not quite as abstract, but thereabouts. Uh, 
And that said, so you throw the card and just kind of goes off to the side. It's like, well, that went wrong. <laughs> I pick it up and just hand it to her. Yeah, probably. Uh, interesting. Yeah. It freaks me out. <laughs> you can have it back. Yeah, it was weird seeing us all on a page when this we've only just gotten here. Or to the oh, fort whenever we were there. Does the card look old? Does it look like it's been... No, it, doesn't. it doesn't show any particular signs of aging. I mean, it's been used once or twice, but at, at the most, it seems in good condition. Okay, see. so we can, um, like, we can infer that it was, like, from way, way, way back when. Well, it doesn't look like some ancient scroll of prophecy. Oh, see, what were the, the like, the tiers, was it? Like, it was going up, like, somewhere at the bottom, middle, and Ophelia was on the top. That's all I remember. What was the order? Uh, the card itself... The position of the character characters on it is more out of a stylistic choice than any sort of actual meaning. meaning. Oh, okay. Yes. The reason the reason being is, or the reason you can tell that is partly by the art style. Like there's nothing there's no real distinction between the characters. They're all given the equal an equal amount of whatever have you. They're just because the card is long is a, a taller object more than it is a wide object. The characters are, you know, Stacked more horizontally. Than Could I check if I recognize the art style? Go right ahead. I hold the card up to her. That would be a. I will give you a history insight. You know it's gonna be plus one. Just roll. <laughs> so just plus one, just to be sure. <laughs> yeah, like I really don't think there's. Ah. Applicable. Either way, that's still really good. <laughs> All right, uh, who did it? Is your is the question? Well, yeah, I was just figuring out if I recognize the art style. You do actually. Does it look like that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's mine. <laughs> I drew it. <laughs> this suddenly got real meta real quick. <laughs> <laughs> but it's missing me. <laughs> in before, hey, 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 you were you were later. In before you're the Green Ranger. In before you guys are the final bosses. But the Green Ranger's evil. What? But... <laughs> yeah, and the Green Ranger took the entire characters but on by himself and beat them. Yeah, I know. And then he became <laughs> the White Ranger. Yeah, he sure did. But no, he stayed the Green Ranger for a while after. He, Man, he became the White Ranger. Power later. Rangers movie so badly. Anyways. Yes, anyways, super grim dark Power Rangers aside. Not really super grim dark. <laughs> it is compared to the campy uh, 90s version. Go, go, Power Rangers. I mean, they still say all the f iconic phrases, like it's morphin' time and stuff like that. Speaking of which, the Power Glove cover of that song is amazing. All right. <laughs> you do actually recognize. Not necessarily the artist per se, but you recognize at least where it's from. And you recognize that this particular card is, this particular style, is very popular in Rain. Ah, that's probably why I know it then. <laughs> yes, it, it, uh, there's, there, there are several, there are several legitimate diviners in Rain on account of a decent, decent congregation of magic users. And this is a style... Sure. <laughs> it's just shoved in there. there. <laughs> or like badly badly posted over Corvine's picture. <laughs> no, that's a face photoshopped over Corvine's <laughs> no, no, it's, like, it's like someone cut it out and like did a bad like uh, uh, like a tape job. job. Yeah, it even still says like stutter shock on top of it. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so, so like I said, there's several legitimate diviners up in red. And this is the style that they like to use. It's a, it's, it's a very popular style these days. Or yeah, it was, I mean, at least, or at least it was the last time you were in the you were in the neighborhood. Yeah, I'll just mention that to them. Blah 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 blah. I recognize it. Blah blah blah. So. Huh. 
So what, does it mean I have to hear we're making a road trip up there? We don't have to. I have a contact that I could call. You see your All right. <laughs> All right. So, you guys, you guys move on? Yeah, we need to get Yeah, back. let's let's uh let's keep heading back to town. All right. At the end of the second day, you reach the lake. Or you get towards the end of the day, you reach the lake. And then you can you set up camp about halfway across it is when night finally falls. You'll reach town towards the end of next day. All right. All right. Second watch. First watch. Second. First. Aw. <laughs> Fine. Watch, get the event again. Get... Wait, right. I want to be first watch. The night the night passes Fine. without incident that. except for Eo's watch. Yes, finally. <laughs> <laughs> I would have laughed if you had gotten you. All right. No, I'm just kidding. Nothing actually happens. Uh, oh, I was actually excited. <laughs> I'm a stinker. Can I fight like so, like another wave of scorpions or something? <laughs> it's tempting proposition, but we have ten. We have we're we're closing towards the end, of the day, and there is a few things I want to. Uh, Get to before we call it a before we call it a day. Okay. All right, let's go. All right, so the night passes without any incident for once. Uh, man, I watch. seem to be the only one that's yawning. <laughs> well, you had third watch. Why are you yawning? You didn't wake up. <laughs> Thank you, Colorado. Good to see you. Good to know you got her back, fam. <laughs> I am a creature of the night. I do not sleep. <laughs> if you're a creature of the night, why aren't you camouflaged to be black instead of white? Arctic night. <laughs> Alright, then. So, uh. Bar, I suppose, barring any RP, you all head back to town? Yep. All right. Well, when you arrive at the town, the sun is starting to set a bit in the distance. And when you get into town... Actually, even before you get to town, you see a lone figure running towards your little ragtag group at top speed. Uh, Be on guard. Specifically from the town. As you approach, you get sort of within distance. You get so, you close some distance, and suddenly you see a lone figure like leave the town and coming towards you at top speed. Do we recognize it? Yeah. Maybe with some perception checks. Studies. I have a suspicion who it is, anyways. <laughs> nope. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my bad. That was I actually hit twenty twenty nine. Oh, hey. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta go 1d20. <laughs> oh, I know who it is. It's Eo. It's Corvine. It's Corvine. There we it's go. It's Eo. I suddenly come towards you. It's alternate universe me. If for a brief second, yes, it does look like Corvine. Oh, apparently she was chilling. Oh, that's not Corvine. That's not Corvine. <laughs> that's not Corvine. That's, ma- oh, that's lies. That's, that, that's made of illusionary lies. Oh. Wait, what am I doing? Over- oh, wait, it's not me. <laughs> the other two of you do indeed see a young cow running toward Yeah, that's why I figured it was. <laughs> and Alabama. no surprise, it is indeed truly Alabama. Alabama. <laughs> Alabama. And she and her father are very, very happily reunited. There's much shouting, there are tears. Hollering and hootenannying. While Benson is shunned, even though he's the bookkeeper. <laughs> <laughs> they don't really... They're, they're basically, too busy, basically too busy being a family again to really yeah. be a bookkeeper <laughs> at the moment. Yeah, blood comes first. And uh, the two of them, the two of them, fairly quickly leave your presence and head off towards one of the inns. Mm. Uh, All right. Although, 
Alabama stops for a second, turns around, and whispers something into Snow's e- or <laughs> Ophelia's ear. Yep. Mm. Hold on, I have to type super secret DM messages that you don't know I'm typing. Woo! Here we are. She whispers into your ear, I am blue. If I were green, I would die. Oh, I'm the one that's clicking. Clickety clack, clickety clack, 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 clack. Furious typing. Insert insert GIF of typing till hands fall off, then face. Typing then intensifies. Pretty much. All right. Super insert secret, cake yeah. Super secret message that nobody knows about has been sent. Hmm. Um, Ophelia. Oh, okay. I look towards Ophelia. What she say? Come on. What she say? As Alabama goes galloping off after her father, head into town. I just walk into town without saying anything. Can I try a persuasion check? <laughs> you certainly can. This is not going to go well, Sensei. <laughs> this is a straight D20. Can I make a uh, perception check? Actually, no, wait. No, wait. No, no, no. It, it would be plus one, I believe. Oh, see, could I make a perception check to see if any of uh, the guards are around? <laughs> you certainly okay, could. That, that's horrible. Yeah. Uh, I'm not even going to have Ophelia moving throw on that. <laughs> Ooh. It appears the scene of father, of father and daughter reuniting is just a little too for you to peel your eyes away from. Yeah, it's all right. Fine. So, and with that happening... And you guys head back into town. And pretty much once you arrive, one of the guards arrives. You there. You're the group that had you're the group that headed out to rescue uh, Dakota, right? Yeah. Yes, that's us. Hmm. Well, I see you succeeded. It we are so happy over. to find this this sleigh over here as well. I point to Lavender. That guy looks like who are you? <laughs> My name's Lavender. Uh, Lavender. 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 He looks at her. Wait. No. No, you can't be. You've been gone for two years. Two years? Two years? Only what two? Mean, what do you mean two years? The guard looks at the group. Well, I- impressive. Um. Commander Sandy would like to speak to you. Okay. All right, take us to her. You, I point to Lavender. Get to a hospital. <laughs> uh, I, I'll come with me, Miss. Well, I'll we'll take her to the. I'll take you to her here. With that, the Lavender uh, goes with the guard. Well, you all head back. I assume. I assume you all head to the. Head to Commander Sandy's office. Yeah. yeah. All right. When you get there, Commander Sandy is sitting by is sitting behind a desk, looking at something. And she looks up and gets a big grin on her face. Ah. Well. Seems you uh, seems like you five are made of tough stuff. I heard uh you brought. Heard you brought uh Dakota back. I see a. Uh, by the looks of a couple extra, too. Yes, ma'am. Yes, we did. And I proceed to regale the whole tale of our, of our daring escape and rescue. And then I do as well, but I focus mainly on my hips and the swiveling and gyrating of them. I don't and even have them. And I, also, I, show, I show a command saying the, the card. No, you don't. It's mine. I had it with me the entire time. But you gave it back because that's only right. No, it's only right. No one else <laughs> claimed it, though. Ophelia straight up said that she didn't want it. It's only right, says the alpaca yeah. who who hoarded all the gold goods to himself. Yeah. yeah. 
Hey, 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 if you want that mail, you will give me back my card. <laughs> it's, an e it's an honest trade. You want better armor? I want my card back. To not advance the story. <laughs> not advance the story. Well, All right. I'm fine with my armor as it is. I don't see why I would need any new one. All right, then I'll keep it. Well, either case... She uh, looks at the group of you say, I'm going to be blunt. Useful adventures are really hard to come up with. Would you guys be willing to do something? Depends, Depends on, what on what it is. is. Exactly. Jinx. We're all thinking like, <laughs> Depends on what it is, ma'am. What so, do you need us to do? I don't think it comes as a surprise if I tell you that the murder are pretty sick and tired of these bandits. Wait, what What was that? You cut out a bit. I'm pretty sure I'm, it was like about merchants being tired of bandits. I'm pretty sure it comes as no surprise, but the merchants around here are pretty tired of bandits. Yes. We, yeah, we see seems that. Pretty, seems pretty obvious. And they've all... They've all pitched in a substantial amount of funds as a reward to anyone who can put a stop to this nonsense. If I you guys think I know get, where this is going. If you guys can get to the bottom of this whole thing that's been going on for the past couple of years, I'm authorized to pay each of you 200 gold pieces. Woo! We'll take the case. Great. Right, guys? Right? Right? That is... Oh, do we happen to tell uh, Command Stanley about the mysterious ruin we found? Well, um, we only have, like, a minute, so let's keep it for later. Just Let's just take the job. Indeed. Let's actually pick up with that next session. But we do we agree that Go we take the job? <laughs> but I... But do yes, do you guys agree to take the job? Yeah, why not? I'll look at them. He's like, wait, what? And then there's the cliffhanger. Yes. <laughs> well then, the cliffhanger is. I should also mention that most of the money is being forwarded uh, by Dylan as. Who? Not surprised. Okay then. Yeah, okay, me. I guess we're just going with it, so all right. You'll know. All right, we'll go ahead you and call that session. Yet. Wait till you meet him. He's a character. Now take your word for it. All right, and we'll go ahead and call session there. Yay. Yay, Yaru. Good thing, call I am freaking hungry. <laughs> and I need to give you guys XP. Because we weren't given any. Um, you guys get, you each get 40 experience points for successfully rescuing the NPC. And you also get, let's see here, how much XP was that? You also get... Nothing. You get nothing else. 42. And we'll like it. 42 XP each for managing to solve conflict through nonviolence. Hey, ah. we level up then. I was wrong. You level up, you level up actually at 300 XP. <sighs> I was mistaken. I looked at the level chart like, oh, oopsies. Forever first level. <laughs> Don't worry, you'll you'll be second level soon. Yeah, we're ha we're basically halfway there. Uh, well, I mean, so basically, basically, I saw that you guys went. 
transportation we as went much what? as possible. You guys went to ex very extreme efforts to avoid settling that affair in a bloody way. Mm -hmm. So I basically gave you as much XP as though you successfully accomplished the task. I.e., I, I give you as much XP as if you had beaten down the bandits. Since, in my opinion, you still yes. tend to beat them. I you mean, they're probably still waiting behind the door, waiting for us to open it. <laughs> After One day. week later. <laughs> so, their plan was to quite literally starve you out. Yeah, that's what I figured. Oh. Yeah, it wasn't it obvious, you. <laughs> no, I was actually just gonna go like guns. Bla well, actually, I don't have guns, but like the sacred flame blazing and with the battering ram and just fight them all off. <laughs> That's what I would have done if you guys had let me. I can't. I can't math right now. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out my total experience points. I can't. 139. If everyone's the same. Yeah, everyone should be at the same. You're uh. You're 140 because yep. you had that one for the pun. Yep. Yes. Oh yeah. That's where I should. Go. I should put everyone at the end of next session. Everyone should be at 299 XP, <laughs> except for Ophelia. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's unfair, especially because I'm doing practice characters and making That's... a Tempest cleric. Nonsense. That's perfectly fair. I don't know what you're talking about. It's not favoritism <laughs> at all. I'm, a, I'm an amazing DM. I never, I never perform such horrible practices. <laughs> so, uh, sorry for the slightly slow progress on the uh, the story today. It, uh, it we probably should have started a bit sooner than we actually did. I got kind of carried away with the non-canon shenanigans. Anybody want to celebrate Love Day? You mentioned it once and then never again. I said because uh, it's basically I did, I, we formed it all together. It's basically EO's made up Valentine's Day because there is no Valentine's Day in Phono. Yeah. Except in Sheepland. And it's, yeah, except in Sheepland. And it's even then, it was me, the one that started it, just so that I could get chocolate. <laughs> per percentage dice decree that Love Day is not a thing. <laughs> hey, we're, fine, we're, then I'll go against I, the percentage dice. Now, how me, do I roll that? Allow, wait, allow me to finish. It is not a thing phonem-wide. No, I know. I'm saying it's only sheep. It's like sheep, sheep community exclusive, and even then, it's even more exclusive because I was the one that made it up and started spreading word of it. He was the one that started the club. Yeah. I'm just basically <laughs> trying to get people to give me stuff. Yeah. Give me a retroactive persuasion check. <laughs> a what? Retroactive uh, persuasion, persuasion check. check. So just a persuasion check? A persuasion yes. check that already happened in the past. Yes. You know, I, I mentioned this in text, but we could have just used Zhang Hua for the light in the hallway. Yeah. <laughs> you have just kind of been dragging her around the entire time. Yeah. 22. <laughs> So that was a retroactive. That was a retroactive check to see how effective your attempts in establishing Love Day was. Very good. Mm -hmm. In short, it's it's a holiday celebrated by the community from which you come, and it's spreading slowly beyond its boundary. The meadow. So if you were to go back home to your hometown of Ba, then you'd be able to celebrate Love Day with. And but I was just like, I was just like mentioning it to the other guys to see if they would ask and then believe me if I told them like most of the metal celebrates it. Yeah, Eo brings Love Day with him wherever he goes. The only thing I mentioned was that you were crazy for stealing an emerald from a cursed room. <laughs> I mean, like I said, you know, it's, you know just it's wait, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use that later. You know it's bad when the thief doesn't want to go. <laughs> and then you've got the the guy that's chaotic good and just kind of wants to steal some stuff. Yeah. Who's the rogue again? <laughs> just be sure hey, not to hey. too often or else he might drop oh, up in a while. Clearly it's EO because yeah. like 
I am totally not a rogue. I've never mentioned I was a rogue. No one knows I'm a rogue. The one and then know. I'm just kind of like getting my hands on everything. I'm still, sh I'm still clinking around. I'm still, I still go sh 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 whenever I walk. Ophelia I looks the money for things of value. Eo just grabs whatever is shiny. <laughs> Pretty much. That's kind of actually. That's kind of what I did. I'm not a rogue. I grabbed the suit of armor. I grabbed the sword. I'm I just a kleptomaniac. <laughs> I'm not a rogue. I, I just have a big, pretty tiara. That's all. And meanwhile, Colorado's just like, I'm too worried about staying alive. <laughs> Money can come later. Well, you definitely can never depend on PCs because you all definitely have 60 gold behind. I'm just sort of like scratching my head, like, well, oh, okay. But I mean, like, if the other, if the two other guys were here, they might have gotten some of that gold. <laughs> Shang Hua actually, still needs her coffee money. Well, no, Benson specifically also denied the money. Ah, right. He said it was good, so he wouldn't take it. Um. That said. That said, I could, uh, I could next session, I could be nice and get Zhang Hua some coffee. Next session, or no, um. Because I keep forgetting about it. Inspiration as a mechanic. And how we don't have any. Yep. Well, it's a little just have very I low morale. Yeah. It's a mechanic I keep forgetting about for people. Yeah, who are like, especially really in character. To play if you have a bard on your team. I. So I am mildly impressed by Colorado's. Focus on staying alive over looting the loot chest. Well, I'm a total player and would have looted freak out of that thing anyways. I'm going to award Colorado inspiration for next session because of his what I felt was a very in character moment. Yay. And Ophelia gets nothing because yep. she wasn't stealing stuff like EO. It's like they were reversed roles. Ophelia was just blowing things up. <laughs> kind of the opposite of sneaky. Mm -hmm. Well, oh, no. Hey, I, need to so my... the, I need to look at the player's handbook find out what inspiration does. Uh, well, it's basically it's a you spend it and you get advantage on a d20 roll. Okay, so just put one. Yeah. You, basically, it, inspiration is you have it or you don't have it. They don't stack. You can't save them. Although you can give it to another player for some reason. But basically, it's it's something I'm supposed to give out during the session, and then you spend it where you wherever you want on any one d twenty roll. It's like compliments. It's like, hey, you're looking good today, and suddenly they have inspiration. Like basically, you're like I don't want to take the goal. I'm more interested in survival. Like at that point, I'm like, wow, I'm kind of impressed. I have inspiration. I think I thought that was really in character, kind of. Thing. Okay, so that explosion. Well, okay. In your defense, in your defense, a lot of what happened to that fire explosion was kind of me, so... Well, okay, um, I had a plan, really. Um, if call, if um, we weren't spotted, like, sneaking outside, I would have used... I would have brought the explosions into the jail cell so that we can blow a hole underground in the hopes of trying to find a way out. Ah. I wasn't gonna use it on anybody. Also, like, kind of retroactively thinking now, um, if yeah. we did take on those bands and if we did win, we could have taken yeah. that fort for ourselves. Yes. And so, I, wanna, I, wanna, I wanna further explain how I was gonna do my plan. It's you guys would have uh, hidden in that, you know, area with the doors. You would have hidden and I would have thrown insults at the big boss and all of them, and I would have, you know, led them down into uh, the cells, uh, insulted them more, and then hit, went all the way to the back, like where, uh, like, like where we were, they were gonna take us originally when they brought us here, uh, like that back, back, like back against the wall, literally, and attempt and start fighting from there, and then you guys would come in from behind. But that was about it. No, okay, uh, you wanted to do a pincer attack. Yeah. If you guys, like, I'll be honest, my preference was for you guys to find the secret. That was my preference. 
That said, if yep. you had if you had not found the passage, then your plan probably would have gone off more or less as planned. Because you guys had a cool plan, it was probably gonna work. I mean, obviously you never know what was gonna happen. So like for my part, you know, the more I understand what you guys want to do with your plans, the more I can work with you. And unless there's something specifically that would subvert your plans, like for example, the existence of a secret passage after you spent like thirty minutes talking about how you're gonna ambush these people, <laughs> um, I'll pro you know I'll just be in work with you guys, you know. To be fair, I was not a fan of that ambush plan. <laughs> but, well, I mean, if we didn't have that secret passage, that was like literally the only thing we would have really had to go off of. I mean, thank I my perception for that. Just, Oh, I was the exhibition. None of you were overly for the idea of taking that thing off. Yeah. Well, <laughs> no, uh, I was. I think I'm the only one. I wanted to fight the boss. Like, aside from EO, I don't think anyone's really wanted to take them on. But it's like we were kind of like thinking we really don't have a choice. Yeah. I knew that. Well, before the wall was introduced, <laughs> the wall. Before that, I, wa I was thinking that I wanted to fight them, but I at least wanted to try and get an advantage, which is why I wanted to, s to use the flask of alcohol and, you know, maybe give them some fire damage before we started fighting. But, I mean, it was fun just, like, trying to think up of all that. <laughs> like, it, I it mean, really felt, it felt really intense, actually. Yeah. Um, happy, I'm, I'm happy that it worked out well. That's, I mean, that's part of the fun, is letting the players just loose. Although, I mentioned it before, but there are many times I wish I had a PC, probably because I want to play, but also there are times where I just want to say something. Not even, like, related to the plot, just as a player. I, like, I'd love to pitch an idea, but I sit there in silence, I'm like... <laughs> like that. <laughs> well, you Swing did have two NPCs sitting around for this. I did, yes, but they wouldn't have any useful advice to offer because one of them was, you know, a soft spoken merchant, the other one basically had a whole lot of mental trauma going. So. Hmm. You could have used Zhang Hua. She could have, you know, started babbling stuff in a coffee deprivation. Uh, I'm not, I'm not going to put words into PC's mouth. Yeah. Also, I mean. I kind of would have looked at that and be like, felt it probably would have looked at my eyes a bit too hand holdy. So, Hold on a minute, I just thought of something. Holdy, you mean? Ooh. Yes, we're I just thought of something. If we had, if we did have Zhang Hua here, my uh, my alcohol thing actually probably would have worked. <laughs> just Seems throw Zhang Hua into it. Just fire. <laughs> no, no, no. I coat, I coat Zhang Hua in the alcohol and then, and then bowling she starts ball. running around. <laughs> And fighting, yeah, kind of. And then she just like, like rolls around, around. on everybody. <laughs> She's rolling around at the speed of sound. She's got places to go. <laughs> Nowhere to go. She, or she place, becomes, whatever, she, however the song goes. She just becomes a snick, a snick cat and just starts rubbing her. You can't stick around though because she got to keep moving on. <laughs> Pretty much. Well, like I said, the math is the worst part. And even it's not terrible, I just don't like it. But everything else outside of a DM Especially using MS Paint to draw. <laughs> MS Paint is the tool of champions. Pretty much. Oh yes. I mean, and well, actually, uh, I, uh, what? Well, unfortunately, I can't. I would love to cash in on your ability, but I can't because you know you're a player. And that would be well, spoilers. Next campaign, then. Whenever. I'm Pretty much, like the symbol, the symbol that was on the cloth. That's actually that was actually Avery. I contacted him like, hey, could you draw? Give him a description, and he drew. Ah, uh, so I'm I'm certainly not afraid to outsource. I don't have. It's just I can't use any of. I can't like I can't use snow and I can't use you, Mr. Liar King, to uh, because it would be potential spoilers. Super duper Liar King. You could ask me. That, but you're also a player. <laughs> I'm not much of an artist. <laughs> I guess I could technically ask Vesper, but he's handling all. 
everyone's hey. dying. Yes. But anyways, I'm I not probably, dying. I should get going. I have friends who are poking me to roll even dice. <laughs> so I'm going to continue rolling dice. I will... In the uh, forever. <laughs> well, technically, technically it's the 13th age, which is developed by the guys who worked on D&D and then left Wizards of the Coast, because apparently Wizards of the Coast has okay. <laughs> some weird thing where they hire their lead designers periodically. Or they fire their lead designers for some reason. Hasbro forever. <laughs> I, I guess. I don't know. Whatever. In any case, <laughs> glad y'all can make it. It was a shame we were down two players, but yeah. life happens, I suppose. I think we did well, considering the fact that we were down two players. Yeah. I'm just glad I didn't have to control them in combat. Would have been <laughs> mildly tedious. But oh well, it's all right. So, talk to you all later, and have a great weekend. Yep, you too. Bye. I will, because it's my birthday weekend. Oh, yeah. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. And then there was no OC. <laughs> and it was good. Everything on Australia wants to kill you. But Even the people. Even the people. <laughs> <laughs>